Hi, I'm Josh Sayers and I am the Interim Program Chair for the Advanced Automation Robotics Technology Program here at Ivy Tech Community College on the Columbus campus. I've been with the college since 2011 and full-time since 2013, and today we are going to show you some of our equipment. This is one of our Mechatronics troubleshooting trainers. It simulates an assembly line, an assembly line process. This station here feeds a screw down, drops it into this. It will come over, this part will pick the screw up and actually place it in the uh, part and then feed it down the line to the robot so the robot can tighten it. This allows us to teach our students to troubleshoot an assembly line air, uh, atmosphere. Hello, I'm Pat Walters. Uh, Interim Assistant Program Chair in charge of Industrial Tech and Design here at Ivy Tech in Columbus. Um, I have been with the college, this is my fourth year. I taught adjunct for a year before that, and before that I was in industry. I worked in industry for 22 years. I spent a lot of time there building machinery, working on machines. I teach industrial tech classes and advanced manufacturing classes using trainers like this one here. For motors and motor controls, we may do electrical circuits, we may do advanced manufacturing um, classes. And I like to tell people that I teach students to think, think through the process of troubleshooting when a machine does something it shouldn't do or doesn't do something it should do. What do we do to fix that? These are our FANUC robots, and our students at Ivy Tech have the opportunity to learn how to program these. This includes learning positioning movements and creating repeating programs. In addition, Students learn how to use the vision system with the FANUC robots as well. Through two courses, students have the opportunity to receive two SACA certifications and a certification from FANUC. This is a great opportunity for students to stand out when applying for employment. This is one of our Skill Boss trainers. Skill Boss again simulates a production uh, atmosphere. This is the control interface for the Skill Boss. It houses a PLC and some contactors that allow it to actually operate the motors. And this is an HMI, which is a human interface machine. The PLC Labs afford students the opportunity to learn to create programs for Rockwell Automation PLCs. We utilize Studio 5000, Factory Talk View Studio, and RS Lynx Classic in our courses. Studio 5000 is the program students use to create the ladder logic for the program. Factory Talk View Studio is the program that is used to create the HMI screens for the applications, and RS Lynx Classic is how we establish our Ethernet connection to the PLCs. Students learn to communicate to the PLCs via USB, but more importantly via Ethernet connection. Ethernet is the preferred method of communication in industry. During these courses, students have the opportunity to receive two SACA certifications. 